We're following breaking news right now. New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez and his wife have been indicted on federal bribery charges. In the past hour, we learned that according to federal prosecutors, a search of their home turned up $100,000 in gold bars and $480,000 in hidden cash. The accusation here that they, the senator accepted the gifts in exchange for his foreign affairs influence. Fox 5's Ashley Rodriguez is joining us live from Lower Manhattan with more on everything we know right now. Ashley. Chris, this latest indictment makes it twice in 10 years that Senator Menendez has been charged with corruption. The first time, if you remember, was back in 2015. That's when he was accused of taking $600,000 in campaign contributions in exchange for political favors. Well, it was declared a mistrial and he got off. But this time around, authorities are saying that they have spent years on this investigation and they intend to charge him with conspiracy to commit bribery, honest services fraud, extortion under color of official rights. Right. The 69-year-old leads the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. His wife, Nadine, is named in the indictment along with three businessmen, Fred Davies, Whale Hanna, and Jose Uribe. The U.S. attorney is accusing Menendez of using his office to benefit those businessmen personally, help get rid of criminal charges related to them, and, get this, to secretly steer aid to the government of Egypt. All of this taking place, they say, from 2018 to 2022. Now, in exchange, as you mentioned, Chris, they say Menendez received nearly half a million dollars in cash. They found stashed all over his home, over $100,000 worth of gold bars, a Mercedes Benz, payments toward a home mortgage, compensation for a low or no-show job, and other goods. The money and goods were allegedly paid through his wife, who they claim helped coordinate the bribery scheme. My office remains firmly committed to rooting out public corruption without fear or favor and without any regard to partisan politics. That's in our DNA. Always has been, always will be. And second, this investigation is very much ongoing. We are not done. And I want to encourage anyone with information to come forward and to come forward quickly. Now, Senator Menendez is calling this a smear campaign. In fact, he just released a statement moments ago. He says the excesses of these prosecutors is apparent. They have misrepresented the normal work of a congressional office. On top of that, not content with making false claims against me, they have attacked my wife for the longstanding friendship she had before she and I even met. To my supporters, friends, and the community at large, I ask that you recall the other times the prosecutors got it wrong and that you reserve judgment. I am confident that this matter will be successfully resolved once all the facts are presented and my fellow New Jerseyans will see this for what it is. So again, he is pointing back to that mistrial back in 2015 and he's claiming his innocence. We're going to see how this investigation develops. As they mentioned, it is ongoing. Chris, we'll send it back to you. Yeah, quite an announcement this morning. Ashley, thank you very much.